as a young, shy, scared freshman arriving on campus in 1976. This gregarious Jesuit and I crossed paths on a walk around campus. This random introduction of Father Bucal was the start of a 42-year relationship that's provided fortunes that go beyond words. I met Father Casey in 1985 in September. He was playing racquetball, as so many of us know that he loved racquetball, and I was walking by the racquetball court, and I actually knocked on the glass and told him that I was going to challenge him for a competition. Father Bucala was the chaplain of the football team at John Carroll University, so I first met him in 1997. Father Bucala would often be seen socializing with students, always available to listen, and offer a few words of encouragement. I'm so grateful to my parents for introducing me to my faith, but Casey introduced me to Jesus. He's always been a teacher, um, and, and if you're around him, just having general conversations, it's, it's deeper than that. It's always deeper than that with Father Bukala. You, you walk away having learned something, having uh, something to reflect on and think about, something that will stay with you. Uh, his little sayings, his, his doodle sketch, these are things that um, are, are uh, legendary at, at John Carroll and, and things that uh, his former students and the people he knew will always take with them. Casey has focused his life on forgiveness and I believe the reason that he focused his life on forgiveness and his mission on forgiveness was because he felt that forgiveness set the forgiver free. In my role as alumni director uh, to host alumni events centered around his passion for um, the theme of forgiveness and how important it is in the lives uh, of all of us. Um, those have been uh, wonderful alumni events. I was very fortunate to uh, have Casey as a professor. I took most of his uh, philosophy classes. The one that I appreciated the most was his Ethics of Forgiveness course. Father Bacall was my philosophy professor for two of the core classes. Through Father Bacall's teachings, he provided me with a foundation for clear thought. The teachings were often challenging with lots of deep questions, but Father Bacall always made it fun and interesting. Uh, and then I was able to benefit from another generation in that my daughter Megan took his last class that he taught at John Carroll. If I could describe Father Bacall in one word, um, you know, it would either be philosopher or thinker. And someone who deeply loves people. As we close, please join me in recognizing Father Bucall for his years of commitment to John Carroll and the nation spirit. I'm very grateful for in accepting this award. I accept it not only for myself, but for everyone who went before me and for everyone who will go after me. You know, it begins with the individual and his parents. It begins with my parents and with all the people I knew and all the people who helped me through the years. And I can't tell you all the beautiful people I've known. Think of who you are and you are the one. I love you. And the thing I guess I am most humble about is I don't deserve this award. And another thing is, please, if I hurt you in any way, please forgive me. I love you.